Senior day is always special for the student athletes who get to compete in front of their home crowd one last time. For senior swimmer McKenna Keith, just getting to compete again made her senior day even more special. The date, January 26th, was like the date in my mind every single day. I'll, I'll be back to my normal life. Keith's journey to January 26th began in July. When on a plane to Germany, she noticed a lump on her neck. A week and a half later, thousands of miles from home, Keith was given a diagnosis. When that, that initial doctor's appointment after the MRI, um, she said, I don't, I don't know what it is, but they're just good therapies. And she kept going like this, and I was like, medicine? I, I'm not really sure. Um, and then, so I had to look it up on Google Translate, and all I read is like, lymphoma is a type of cancer. And then I was like, oh, all right. Definitely not what I was expecting. Probably one of the hardest days of my life. Three surgeries and eight rounds of chemotherapy awaited Keith, but support from her seminal family helped her through. They sent this big package with all these notes and stuff. Um, I go to the WILD program of Women in Leadership Development. There's Sarah Paternio, and she had a whole event where all the women student athletes wrote me letters, and it was just so amazing to see how much support can help you and keep you positive, and I just, like, I would not be here without them. You know, it's incredible. You know, she's um, such a huge part of our team, such a huge part of the senior class, and she just is so positive. It was important to us to show her that we all loved her and supported her, and we were there for anything she needed. I think it showed just how much of a, of a family atmosphere we have here at the school, and I think it just, it's so nice that we have such a strong bond with everybody, that we can just, we know if, if someone's hurt and if someone's down, like they can absolutely count on everyone else here to, to help lift them up and get them back on their feet. That and the motivation to once again compete, fueled by another Hodgkin's lymphoma survivor. I looked up some people who had Hodgkin's lymphoma before and I found James Conner was one of them. And he was, I, he was a football player at Pitt, who was the same thing, I think it was his junior or senior year. Um, and he had this, he was, I saw videos of him doing training throughout it and I, you know, use that as such a big inspiration, like, I can be normal, I can, you know, be active and, like, swimming during this, so I did, after that, I was, pushed my doctor a little more, like, I can swim a little bit, I can be in the weight room, like, if I wear a mask or, um, just, to stay in shape so I could come back here. Keith received a clean bill of health in December and found herself behind the blocks one month later, celebrating senior day with her teammates. To see that in a little way that having her back may have helped her work towards this and work through things, I mean it really puts everyday problems or little things that kids go through or coaches go through in perspective. So I'm um, so incredibly pr proud of her. She's just such an incredible person. It was something that I've grown from so much that I'm honestly thankful. It's given me perspective and like you can't like really explain how much that impacts you. I'm so excited to get back on the blocks. I'm I'm not worried so much about the times, just about having fun and being with my like being with my teammates. I literally can't explain how happy I've been the past couple weeks just being back with them.